Have you ever felt a shiver down your spine as a stranger speaks your deepest secrets? Have you ever wondered how psychics seem to know everything about you, even before you say a word? It might seem like magic, but the truth is far more unsettling. Today, we're peeling back the curtain on a technique called cold reading and revealing how psychics and manipulators use it alongside the dark side of psychology to trick you. By the end of this video, you'll be able to see through this deceptive tactic and protect yourself from those who exploit it. So buckle up because we're about to delve into the fascinating and sometimes frightening world of cold reading. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. What is cold reading? Now, let's dissect this trickery and unveil the secrets behind cold reading. What exactly is it? Cold reading isn't some magical mind-reading ability. It's a set of techniques, a carefully crafted performance designed to manufacture an illusion of psychic prowess. The performer, whether it's a carnival fortune teller in a flamboyant tent or a high-priced psychic in a dimly lit room, gathers information about you without you even realizing it's happening. They become masters of observation, picking up on subtle cues, a nervous twitch of your hand, a simple wedding band, or even the worried crease in your brow. These seemingly insignificant details become the foundation for their act. Believe it or not, this isn't some mystical power at play. It's a carefully honed skill with a long history. Cold reading has been a tool of charlatans and entertainers for centuries. Back in the Victorian era, shrouded seances were all the rage. People craved a connection to the spirit world, and cold reading became a key element in these elaborate performances. Even today, on brightly lit stages and in intimate parlors, cold reading remains a constant, albeit deceptive, presence. Key techniques used in cold reading. Now, we've exposed the basic concept, but how exactly do these cold readers pull off their illusions? Let's delve into the toolbox of a cold reader and unveil their key techniques. Ever noticed how psychics often start with vague statements that seem to apply to almost everyone? Statements like, you've recently experienced a loss, or there's a feeling of uncertainty in your career. These are called Barnum statements. These broad pronouncements tap into the Barnum effect, a psychological principle where people find vague statements surprisingly accurate about themselves. Because they're so general, there's a high chance they'll resonate with someone, making the psychic seem insightful. But cold reading goes beyond lucky guesses. Psychics are also masters of fishing for information. They'll ask broad questions that seem open-ended, like, is there a big decision weighing on your mind? Then, they'll watch you closely, analyzing your reactions. A slight nod, a flicker of sadness in your eyes. These subtle cues are gold for a cold reader. They'll use them to refine their guesses and steer the conversation in a direction that confirms their initial hunches. Don't underestimate the power of a furrowed brow or a clenched fist. Cold readers are also experts at reading body language. They'll pay close attention to your non-verbal cues, interpreting them to fit their narrative. By combining these techniques, cold readers create the illusion of a deep connection and uncanny knowledge. But remember, it's all a carefully crafted performance not genuine psychic ability. Dark psychology behind cold reading. While the techniques themselves might seem simple, the real power of cold reading lies in something far more sinister, the dark psychology behind it. These cold reading techniques aren't just parlor tricks. They're sophisticated forms of psychological manipulation designed to exploit your emotions and vulnerabilities. Think about it. 
People often seek out psychics during difficult times. After a loss, during a career change, or when grappling with uncertainty, they're emotionally vulnerable, desperate for answers or comfort. Cold readers recognize this vulnerability and exploit it in several ways. Confirmation bias. We all have a tendency to favor information that confirms our existing beliefs. Cold readers use this by subtly feeding into your anxieties, making you more likely to interpret their vague statements as validations of your fears. For your effect, this psychological principle builds on Barnum's statements. By cleverly phrasing vague generalities as if they're specific to you, the cold reader creates a sense of having unique insight into your life. Emotional anchoring. Cold readers can latch onto strong emotions you express, amplifying them and using them to manipulate the direction of the reading. This creates a sense of shared experience and reinforces their perceived power. Cold reading as gaslighting. In extreme cases, cold readers might use techniques that resemble gaslighting. They might subtly contradict your memories or experiences, creating self-doubt and making you question your own reality. By combining these tactics, cold readers create a powerful illusion of control and understanding. They prey on your emotional state leaving you feeling dependent on them for guidance and support. This manipulation can have serious consequences, leading to financial exploitation, emotional dependence, and even a distorted sense of reality, common signs of a psychic fraud. Now you've seen how cold reading works, but how can you spot it in action? Here are some common red flags to watch out for. High accuracy rates. Remember those seemingly insightful statements. If a psychic claims an unrealistically high accuracy rate, especially early in the reading, it's a major warning sign. They're likely relying on Barnum statements and fishing for information to build an illusion of being right. High fees and urgency. Beware of psychics who charge exorbitant fees especially up front. Legitimate psychics don't require hefty payments to connect with the spirit world. Additionally, be wary of psychics who pressure you for quick decisions, claiming limited time offers or sensing impending doom. These are classic scare tactics used to manipulate you into parting with your money. Lack of specific information. Genuine psychics might surprise you with a specific detail or two. Cold readers, however, tend to avoid specifics that can be easily verified. They'll stick to vague statements and generalities, leaving room for interpretation. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Don't let yourself be manipulated by these tactics. Real life examples. Cold reading isn't some relic of the past. It's a real world phenomenon with potentially devastating consequences. Here are some famous cases that illustrate the dangers of psychic fraud. Remember, John Edward, the TV psychic who claimed to communicate with the dead. His techniques were later exposed by skeptics, revealing how he used classic cold reading tactics like Barnum statements and body language cues to manipulate his audience on live television. John Edward is just the tip of the iceberg. Here are a few more cautionary tales. Sylvia Brown. This self-proclaimed psychic made headlines for her outlandish predictions and claims of contacting the dead. However, investigations revealed she often used readily available information about her clients, then spun elaborate narratives based on cold reading techniques. Miss Cleo, this late night infomercial psychic became notorious for her exaggerated claims and high priced phone consultations. Authorities later found she used a team of cold readers to exploit vulnerable callers, seeking guidance 
James Van Praan, another TV psychic who built a career on alleged communication with the spirit world. Skeptics exposed his use of cold reading techniques, including exploiting grieving families by gleaning information from obituaries and social media. These cases highlight the importance of being aware of cold reading techniques and protecting yourself from manipulation. Psychics who exploit these tactics prey on some of life's most vulnerable moments, causing emotional distress and financial hardship. How to protect yourself from being manipulated? Now you've seen the dark side of cold reading, but how can you shield yourself from manipulation? Here are some key strategies to empower yourself. Develop a healthy dose of critical thinking. Don't blindly accept everything a psychic tells you. Ask questions like, how did you come to that conclusion? Can you be more specific about what you're seeing? Is there another way to interpret that? Challenge their statements and be wary of pronouncements that seem too good to be true. Remember, psychics are performers and skepticism is your best defense. Educate yourself about cold reading techniques. The more you know about how these tactics work, the less likely you are to fall victim to them. There are plenty of resources available online and in libraries that can help you understand the psychology behind cold reading. Here are some additional tips. Be mindful of information you reveal. Psychics are adept at picking up on subtle cues and using them to their advantage. Don't share personal details. You wouldn't feel comfortable sharing with a stranger. Trust your gut. If something feels off or the reading takes a negative turn, don't hesitate to end the session. You are in control and you have the right to walk away. Focus on solutions, not predictions. Legitimate psychics, if they exist, would focus on empowering you not making pronouncements about your future. Seek professional help if needed. If you're struggling with emotional difficulties or life challenges, consider seeking guidance from a licensed therapist or counselor. They can provide you with evidence-based support and strategies for coping with difficult situations. By equipping yourself with knowledge, critical thinking, and a healthy dose of skepticism, you can maintain control of the situation and avoid being manipulated. Remember, you have the power to decide what information you share and how you react to what you hear. So, there you have it. We've peeled back the curtain on the deceptive world of cold reading. We've seen how psychics use a combination of techniques, from Barnum statements to exploiting body language, to create an illusion of psychic prowess. We've also explored the dark psychology behind cold reading, revealing how they manipulate your emotions and vulnerabilities for their own gain. But remember, knowledge is power. By arming yourself with critical thinking and a healthy dose of skepticism, you can protect yourself from manipulation. Did this video blow your mind? Did you realize just how prevalent cold reading can be? If so, Smash that like button. Let us know you enjoyed this peek behind the psychic curtain. And for more dives into the fascinating and sometimes frightening world of dark psychology, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell while you're at it so you never miss an episode. We've got tons of mind blowing content coming your way. So stay tuned.